For the fourth week in a row, a crowd of people gathered in the Missouri Capitol for bills on LGBTQ plus issues. Today, a bill banning doctors from providing gender transitioning treatments or surgery to minors came up. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon joins us live from the state capitol after listening to testimony and debate in the Senate. Hannah, this topic's become a leading issue this year. Because I have been in here for these hearings week after week, and as the session progresses, these bills are moving forward in the legislative process. There are more than two dozen bills introduced on LGBTQ plus issues. This topic has quickly taken over this year's legislative session. Now let's take a look at what some of these bills are. Some would prevent children from seeing drag shows. Others would prohibit transgender students from playing on sports teams with the gender that they identify with. Last week, we saw bills that aim to ban the discussion of gender identity and sexual orientation in schools without parents' permission and prevent people from changing the gender on their birth certificate unless they have gender affirming surgery. That brings us to today's hearing on three bills that would like all make it illegal for doctors to perform gender transitioning treatments to minors, such as surgeries or hormone treatments. Today, we heard from people on both sides of the issue on how this would affect transgender people. I was one of these cases that had serious mental health comorbidities that were never looked into by these doctors. As a result of this, I am now 21 and trying to go back and I'm unable to. Timely access to medical care was essential to my safety and stability, and this waiting period was a very difficult time for me. It is hard to imagine what it would have been like if bills like these would have prevented me from accessing care. And Lucas, as I said, I have been going to these hearings for weeks, but this one today was far more tense, almost uncomfortably tense. And with these hot button issues, you get really high emotions in the hearing room and in other places. So coming up at six, I will break down what the conflicts are in there and how it's impacting life in Columbia. Reporting live at the state capitol, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. Hannah, thank you. Two of the bills have been sent to the full Senate for debate and they're waiting to get called up.